morning. I've got freshly cut beef brisket flat. We're going to make some pastrami. The ingredients what we will need is a dry mustard, coriander, mustard seed, garlic powder, black pepper. Going to grind it everything. Black pepper, mustard seed. You don't need to put a lot. This one will go for the dry, dry cure. Garlic powder. Yeah. And dry mustard. Okay, now we've got the dry cure meat and we already chop the ingredients. You don't need a lot for this because this is gonna be just part of curing just to get the better flavor from the black pepper and other ingredients Now we're going to add the dry cure. Let's close the lid and don't forget every 24 hours turn it upside down. Good morning. It's been six days. So now we're going to properly wash the meat. Smells lovely. Now we're going to get rid of all the salt, everything which is there. Wash it in a cold water. It's really important. With the pastrami, because it might be a bit salty. It depends what type of cure you're using. If you're going to use the Prague number one, 
you definitely need to soak it in the water. If you're going to use the ready mix dry cure, which I'm using now, you don't need to, but if we, if you leave it one hour in the water, that would be completely fine. And another thing, it depends how salty you would like it, you know what I mean? It's like doing homemade bacon, you know? Everybody's got different taste. So that I'm using the same, just clean fresh water and leave it soak it there for at least one hour. After that, we're going to dry it completely. All right, the meat's been sitting in the water for about an hour and a half. We're going to. Lovely. Going to dry rub it so it's nice and dry. I might actually cut this chunk off. I do like it over there. Perfect. All right, what I'm going to do now is I put the yellow mustard just a little bit so the ingredients got better to bind into the meat. So I got the, I got my French mustard here, just a little bit. It really doesn't need to be a lot. It's just going to use to wrap what we already made which is black pepper coriander and mustard seed At this stage, we're going to wrap it in a foil. Now we put our pastrami back to the fridge for another 24 hours. And tomorrow we unwrap it, set up our smoker, and we're going to smoke it slow and long. From now on, see you tomorrow. Okay, we are outside and now we've got meat ready to go out. It's been sitting in a fridge for 24 hours. We fire out our smoker and we're going to smoke it on 225 until we reach internal temperature 160. Put the probe in thicker part of the meat. I'm going to place it in a smoker. All right, we reach internal temperature 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to cover it 
We're going to put the apple cider vinegar and apple juice and we're going to carry and cook it until we reach 195 degrees. Apple cider vinegar. apple juice. I'm going to wrap it in a foil and put it back. No. Oh, we are back. Uh, it's been four and a half hours actually, and the thermometer showing me 195 internal degrees. So I think it's time out to take the pastrami out, uh, put it in a aluminium foil, uh, leave it rest at least for hour, hour and a half, two hours and then we can slice it up and see what the result is. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the final stage. We're going to cut it or slice it. I'm trying. <laughs> 